Hello friends, welcome to my economics by Hair Sixu. So this is short term update on Nifty Bank. Nifty, the outlook going good. This is going to be an interesting video. Watch the link. If you used to open an account with Upstop, one of the leading discount brokers, I'm giving you a link in the description. You can open an account with that link. If you are new to this channel, if you still haven't subscribed, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Subscribe, share, like, comment, follow me on Twitter. This is my Twitter handle. I did Trend Economics HD, where I share live market updates. If you used to learn Elliott Waves, try that link. We have a 60% discount on both the courses where I've discussed all the patterns, how to trade, how to trade in stocks, indices, commodities, cryptocurrencies, spotting highest probability opportunities, using traditional tools like moving averages, RSI, Fibonacci trend line, trend channels, combining wave principle and price action. Mistakes people do, how to avoid them. I'm giving you free book by Frost and Corrector and webinar on risk management because the risk management is the most important part. So you can register from a block trend economics or from a website. This is our website, trendonomics hd elexiapp.com, or uh, from eLearn Markets platform, that is one of the leading platforms for online learning. And even if you don't want to register, I'm still giving you this free ebook on Elect Wave. Grab the book from link in description. And I'm going to come up with a free year to be a course for everyone. Free course, yes, short course. So uh, it will be up by tonight. So grab that. Let's discuss the market. So we bounce back after the Friday's doji candle. Uh, we have gap up today. And uh, on Friday itself, I had discussed that probably if we hold and cross about 17,580, uh, then we get some more higher and stock specific rally. You can uh, grab uh, stock specific moves. And uh, in my weekend discussion with stock tweets, we had discussed Astral Poly. The stock shot up 8% today. So, uh, uh, yes, definitely you can uh, grab stock specific opportunities today. We did uh, Astral and Fine Organics also. Uh, jumped seven percent so stock specific you can definitely uh look for opportunities uh in nifty mm, i'm not very much sure whether we can go to new highs uh why because the fall is now impulsive uh, uh this is certainly an impulsive fall uh one two three four five yes we one two three then fourth wave and a fifth wave <coughs> impulse on downside so uh, i think this is just a corrective rally uh, definitely if we sustain higher than 17,800 17,830 that is the resistance level if we sustain higher than that then definitely i will say that we we are going for new highs but not until then because we have this trend channel resistance uh, we have broken this trend yes we have the trend channel resistance we have broken it and Unless we cross that or unless we cross the resistance near 17,830 zone, uh, 800,830, I would be a little cautious and I won't go out for a massive long positions. Uh, we took an intraday long position. We exited very shortly. Uh, currently, we are not having any positions because there is definitely no uh, sense of adding a short position until market again goes into the downtrend and uh, as per my analysis i think uh, at even the corrective wave is probably not over yet so uh, if at all this is corrective wave we should not cross uh, the swing highs of 17830 or tomorrow we might see some more uh, a rally or some more uh, up move uh, which should be uh, slow and overlapping and then market reverses again uh, this is one possibility i'm not saying this is definitely going to happen but this could happen so uh, in what case you go short so definitely unless we bro break at least uh, 17615 that is today's open or this zone where market took support 17620 uh, unless that happens uh, i'm not going to take any short positions and on the way up, I will definitely uh, observe the price action. If we get a strong impulse like this, uh, then definitely I would say that, oh, probably 
we should go over to the new highs. Uh, rather, if we get a very corrective shallow move, uh, something like this uh, uh, going higher, then definitely I would look for a shorting opportunity only when market again starts going down. So on higher side, definitely 17,820, 30 is a resistance zone, this trend channel resistance. And unless we cross it in a faster time, yes, now time is most important thing. A uh, lot of people forget about time. So we need to see uh, even if market goes higher, how it is, if it goes in a faster time, it, if it goes above uh, 17,830 within uh, next, uh, within the first over uh, two, three hours tomorrow, uh, it takes a lot of time and it consumes and it's uh, choppy, then definitely it would be a corrective move. So uh, um, soft specific, you can grab opportunity, but I don't think in Nifty, unless it gives a very sharp rally like this, I, I don't see a, a very huge move from here. Uh, in Bank Nifty, again, I would say I'm, I'm not even keen to discuss about bank Nifty because why uh, uh, why to treat this index which is not giving any trend? So uh, you would say uh, that okay, it is it has gone up from this level whatever thirty thousand to almost thirty eight thousand. But how? What is the time? It's over six months, and if you see, there is no uh, very good strong trend on either side. So if I go long, say uh, market goes up. Uh, and I'm going long about this, yes, uh, because yes, market has gone up. Uh, so if I go long here on this candle, and then next three, four days, market is going down, market is not uh, going up actually. Or if I say, if I went long over here after seeing this big bullish candle, what happens then? Market almost tanked towards the low. And then if I say, okay, I will take the short position because market closed below the short term moving averages. Uh, then I would rather hit my stop loss over here. Same thing over, happens over here. If I took longs over here, in three days, market came down almost back to this low. So why to trade this? Even here, see, market went to the new highs that is bullish. Yes, seemed to be bullish, but then market tanked. So I would uh, rather not trade this index. This is choppy index, and I don't like to trade a uh, choppiness, choppy uh, indices or choppy stocks. I would recommend to uh, stay away from bank nifty until it gets a trend on either side, either on upside or on downside. Uh, so I'm not very keen about bank nifty, but nifty, yes, I would definitely uh, uh, trade because it is giving huge moves. Yes, on either side, uh, nifty. Yes, this is a strong trending move, like what we actually want not like bank nifty which is overlapping yes so uh keep watch on the levels uh 17830 tomorrow if it unable to cross then probably we would face correction again or uh, maybe next uh, level of correction if we break 17580 definitely uh we should uh, expect uh probably 17400 or even 17100 that is the next uh, level of uh, support. I'm not saying uh, uh, we should start shorting currently unless we break 17,620 at least or today's low. But uh, wait for it. And uh, that's it from today's update. If you like, you can share with your friends, subscribe to this YouTube channel and we are coming with a free Iliot Wave post. Uh, we will post it on all of our platforms on my blog uh, and on my website on our website we'll post it and i will also post it in youtube so grab this opportunity i will post it in all the platforms where i post the paid courses i will uh, make it available to all these platforms so grab the opportunity to learn elliot waves for free and of course you can grab the book so that's it this is Arshdik signing off until we meet again